All right, let's talk about the today function. This is one of the easiest functions to understand. It calculates what day today's date is. So for example, over here in cell M5, if I literally wanted a cell that said what today's date was, I would go up to the formulas tab, top of the screen, go to the date and time drop down menu and find the today function named after today, right? So I click here on today. Now you'll notice this function arguments dialog box comes up and it says the function takes no arguments. Almost all the functions in Excel have these parentheses and you put something inside the parentheses for it to calculate things effectively. But the today function is one of the exceptions to that because it doesn't need to know any additional information in order to figure out what day today is. So I click OK and sure enough, it generates February 5th of 2025. Now, this can be used in thousands and thousands of different ways. Here's an example of that. Over here in cell G6, I look at this and I say, okay, I know what the invoice due date is, and I want to know how far it is before or after the due date right now. So what I can do is I can subtract any two days from one another, and then I can see what the result looks like. So I'll do equal sign, and I will take the due date right here in cell F6, and then subtract the today function. So T-O-D-A-Y, open parentheses, close parentheses. So cell F6, January 10th, 2025, minus today, which happens to be February 5th, and I hit enter. Oh, nice and important here. If it tries to format a number as a date and it has a hard time doing that, it'll often generate something that looks like this. So right here on the drop down menu on the home tab, I'll make sure that this is a general format. And you can see here that in a general format, it is 26 days in the past. I auto fill that down. And you can see that there are some that are a little overdue, there are some that are very close to being due, and there are some that are still farther in the future.